Hello, in this chapter we will understand what are vectors. What do they visually mean? The objective of this chapter is to have a visual understanding of vector math. Having an understanding of what is the application of cross product and dot product of the vectors. What happens when we add, subtract, multiply two vectors? What do they visually mean? Or what does it mean in Cartesian coordinates? So we have so many things to understand in this chapter about vectors. We will begin with the points. What are the points in space? So point is a location in space. For example, longitude and latitude is a point defined on Earth. Similarly, we can define a point on a graph. So this is a point defined at 2x and 2y on this graph paper. So this is a location on this graph. So this is the story or a short overview of the points. But our main objective is to understand the vectors. Vector is a direction and a magnitude. What does that mean? Let's understand this based on a practical example and an example of this era. Suppose you have a drone. There is a good chance that you have heard about drones because they are very popular these days. But if you have not heard of or played with drones, they look like this. Suppose you have a drone and you are standing somewhere and you have location that it's east, west, north and south. So you get an instruction that fly your drone towards northeast direction for two miles. So you start flying your drone towards northeast direction and you fly it for two miles. So what you have gotten in this information is a direction. Your direction is northeast and your magnitude, that means the distance that you covered, is two miles. This is what a vector is. So you have a direction and magnitude irrespective to the starting point. For a vector, it doesn't matter where you start. It's just a direction and the magnitude. So you can start in this map from anywhere. You just have to travel towards northeast for two miles. You can be standing here on this island or you can be standing on the street. You just have a direction and the magnitude to travel. So that is what a vector is. It's a direction and magnitude. So this is one way of thinking about the vectors that you have the direction and you travel and then you reach at some point. So in this case, you have the magnitude or the magnitude is given to you. Another way of thinking about the vectors is that you have the direction and the point that you want to arrive to and you travel until you reach that point. So this point location, for example, is 2 comma 2 based in this space. So in this example, we have been given the x and y coordinates based on which we can find the magnitude and how we can calculate the magnitude that if we focus on this part of this diagram, we have created a triangle and we know the length of two axes because this is the length of x and this is the length of y for a given point. So if the point given to us is 2 comma 2, that means it lies at 2 units of axis x and 2 units of axis y. So we have the length 2 and 2 and based on Pythagorean theorem, we can calculate the hypotenuse.
So that's how we can calculate the magnitude of the vector. So in this case, hypotenuse is the magnitude of the vector. Let's start understanding the vector operations and we will begin with the vector additions. And to understand 